Let us now take the second model from this topic of permutations and combinations where we shall discuss questions related to arrangement or permutations of similar objects. Let us first understand the statement here. The number of permutations of n objects taken all at a time where p objects are similar of one type, q objects are similar of second type and r objects are similar of third type will be equal to n factorial divided by p factorial into q factorial into r factorial. So as you can see here total there are n objects and the number of permutations of all these n objects taken at a time where p objects are similar of one type that means there are some p number of objects which are similar to each other likewise q objects are similar to each other of a second category and r objects are similar to, to each other of a third category so the total number of permutations in such case will be equal to n factorial by p factorial into q factorial into r factorial so whenever we have some objects which are identical to each other or similar to each other we need to take those number of objects factorial in the denominator and one point that I would like to add here is it is not a hard and fast rule that there should be only three categories. For example, sometimes there can be only two categories of objects. Like there are P objects of one type and Q objects of second type. So in such cases, the answer should be taken as N factorial by P factorial into Q factorial. Their R factorial will not be there. And in some cases, there may be four types of categories. P objects of one category, Q objects of second category, R of third category and S of fourth category. So there again accordingly answer will be N factorial divided by P factorial into Q factorial into R factorial into S factorial and so on. Let us now take the first example from model 2 which is based on permutations of similar objects. Let's look at the question given. How many different words can be formed using the letters of the word? Now here we have got three different words. First one is mirror, the second word is banana and the third one is successful. So we need to find out what will be the number of words which can be formed using the letters of each of these words. Now as you can see in the first word here we have got total six letters 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In general when there are six letters we know that answer should be 6 factorial but there six unique letters have to be present. Here as you can see the letter R appears thrice whereas the remaining letters M, I and O are unique. And we know that whenever there is a repetition, we have to take that number of objects factorial in the denominator. So here the answer should be taken as 6 factorial. Why? Because total there are 6 letters divided by 3 factorial. Why? Because the letter R appears thrice. And since M, I and O are unique, we need not worry about them. So answer can be taken as 6 factorial by 3 factorial. That is 720 divided by 3 factorial is 6. And 720 by 6 is equal to 120. So we can say 120 different words can be formed by using the letters of the word mirror. The second one here is banana and we have got total six letters again 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now here if you observe the letter A appears thrice and the letter N appears twice. So how many different words can be formed using these six letters? We know that whenever there is a repetition we have to go for N factorial by P factorial into Q factorial into R factorial and so on. Here there are only two categories of repetitions. So the answer can be taken as total six letters six factorial a appears thrice so that comes three factorial in the denominator and n appears twice so we should take two factorial for n and the letter b is unique so we need not worry about that so answer here is six factorial by three factorial into two factorial which can be taken as 720 divided by three factorial is six and two factorial is two so 720 by 6 into 2 is 12. 720 by 12 will be equal to 60. So 60 different words can be formed using the letters of the word banana. So as you can see here, even though there are total 6 letters, we are able to form only 60 different words. Whereas in general with 6 letters, we can form 6 factorial words. The reason why we are getting less number of words here is because of repetitions. The point here is even though we have got 3 A's and when their relative positions are changed, the word that is formed comes out to be the same. For example, if these two A's change their positions, if they interchange their positions, the word, the new word that is formed still remains banana. Likewise, when the N's change their positions, the new word that is formed still remains to be banana. So likewise, we get many cases where though the positions of the letters are changed, the word formed remains same. So that is the reason we need to divide by those factorial and find out the true answer as 60. Let's now look at the third one here. The word here is successful. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Total 10 letters. So 10 factorial divided by the letter S appears thrice. So that gives 3 factorial. U appears twice. That gives 2 factorial. C appears twice. That again gives 2 factorial. Whereas E is unique, F is unique and L is unique. 
so we can say that the different words which can be formed using the letters of the word successful will be equal to 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial so this can be taken as the answer for the third word here remember friends do not simplify such questions without looking at the option well, because sometimes in the options the answers are given in the form of factorials itself so this itself can be taken as the answer go for simplification only when a simplified answer like 120 or 60 is given to us so if simplification is required you can proceed for the calculation otherwise answer can be taken as 10 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 2 factorial into 2 factorial so this is how we solve questions when there is a repetition of objects a similar kind of question can also be asked in case of digits let's say we have got six digits one two three and three two one and the question is how many six digit numbers can be formed using these six digits now in general when there are six digits and we need to form six digit numbers we take the answer as six factorial but again if you observe here the digit one appears twice the digit two appears twice and the digit three also appears twice so there are so many repetitions so we cannot take the answer as six factorial the correct answer should be 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial why because the letter the digit 1 appears twice then again 2 factorial because the second digit 2 also appears twice and again 2 factorial because the third digit 3 again appears twice so whatever be the type of object it can be letter or it can be digits we need to go for factorials in the denominator whenever there are repetitions let us now take another interesting example from model 2 the question says a set of 12 books has three identical quant books, three identical reasoning books, four identical English books and two different books on general awareness. In how many different ways can these 12 books be arranged in a bookshelf? As you can see here, the 12 books have to be arranged in a bookshelf. Now, Because the word arranged is used, it is very clearly a case of permutations. That is nothing but an arrangement. Now as given in the question, out of these 12 books, 3 books are identical quant books, 3 are identical reasoning books and 4 are identical English books and remaining 2 are different books on the same subject general awareness. That means here in the set of 12 books, we have got 3 similar books on quant, 3 similar books of reasoning, 4 similar books of English and remaining 2 are unique books. Why? Because they are different books on general awareness. So this is a case where some number of objects out of the total objects are similar of one type, some other number of objects are similar of second type and so on. And the answer in such cases should be taken as n factorial divided by p factorial into q factorial into r factorial. So let's see what will be the answer for this question. Now as there are total 12 books, the numerator should be 12 factorial divided by, we know that there are three quant books which are identical to each other, which are similar to each other. So divided by 3 factorial. Again, we have got three identical reasoning books, which gives us another three factorial and four identical English books, which gives four factorial. Remember, these two books are different books on general awareness. So we should not take two factorial in the denominator why? because they can be differentiated from each other. Right? Only where the objects are similar to each other, we take that in the denominator. Otherwise, where the objects are unique, we should not take them in the denominator. So here the simple answer is 12 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 3 factorial into 4 factorial. So this is how we can solve questions which are based on permutations of similar type of objects. Wherever there is a repetition of objects, take that number of objects factorial in the denominator to get the required answer.